Hi, I'm Todd with EsotericCarCare.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Meguiar's Microfiber Cutting Disc. Meguiar's Microfiber Cutting Disc. This has become, or actually it became many years ago, our go-to product for any compounding uh, needs that we have. If you're going to be doing a, a two-stage that includes compounding and finishing, this is what we're going to use. 98% um, of everything that we do here in the shop at Esoteric, I can do with three pads. This being one of them, the other two being Rupus Yellow uh, Polishing Pad and Rupus White Finishing Pad. This, we were part of a very small group. This was back, actually, when I was still running the business out of uh, the garage of my house. Uh, we were part of the group uh, of pre-production development team on the Meguiar's microfiber cutting pads, their entire system that they had. Uh, that was back before we had long throw um, DA machines like the Rupus machine. We were all using Porter cables back then. They're capable, but they just take a long time uh, to get the job done. So back then, when we first started using this and really figuring out how to get the most out of them, I had written an article that, that talked about compounding with these, and then we were doing finishing with the rotary. And the, the, the title of the article was Rotary Compounding, Is It Dead? Well, that definitely stirred up a lot of controversy and a lot of people you know, saying, there's no way, you're crazy, uh, we'll never switch over to doing it. Fast forward to six, seven years later, and it's hard to find anybody that does any kind of compounding or any use with the rotary at all. So we're definitely ahead of the times uh, as far as that one was concerned. And because of that, we got a, a great opportunity to really understand the technology that goes uh, into manufacturing uh, these pads and how to get the most out of them when you're doing compounding. What this has done for the detailing and paint correction industry, this has provided us with a tool where we can get a really heavy cut with a fine finish. And, and, and that has bridged that gap before it was a heavy cut and then you did a medium level polish and then you had to do a fine a finishing polish in the end. Now, because we have such a big range between cut and finish that we get on our microfiber cutting discs, we just jump to a secondary polishing uh, process and we're completely finished. There's no need to do anything more than a two-step process if you're doing it right. Uh, with the microfiber cutting discs, you're gonna team this up with a good compound, something like the Jeskar uh, compound or the Minzerna. Both of these products, they have a lot of cut to them, but they get a really fine finish at the same time, which is why we like to use them uh, in the shop. Uh, we're all about finding products that have the best performance with ease of use and a really good finish so we can maintain our two-step process. Uh, in the Elite Detailer Academy, we've got students coming in from all over the world. Since I started that four and a half years ago, this is the only compounding pad or system that we have used. We've tried a lot of other products on the market, new uh, pads that have come out, nothing has equaled uh, the technology, the cut and finish that you get out of the Meguiar's. Now, a couple of tips on using these. One, you wanna make sure that you keep these as clean as possible. And the way that you're gonna do that is if you work a section, let's say if you're working on a great big door, halfway through that door, I would stop and clean out this pad. You can either blow it out with compressed air or you can take a brush and clean everything out that way if you don't have an air compressor handy. Um, and then if you're doing it the second way, if you're having to use a brush, I would swap out with a fresh pad a little bit more frequently. These, uh, you're typically gonna go two to three sections on the car before swapping them out. You'll start to notice that, that the finish will drop off after they've gotten loaded up quite a bit with, uh, with spent polish, spent clear coat, so on and so forth. So make sure that you have a good supply of these on hand when you're working around the car, swap them out frequently. And then when you do pull them off, put them in a laundry basket, get them ready for cleaning. Cleaning is really no different on these than what you would do with a foam pad. Spray in some all-purpose cleaner, uh, make sure that you're rinsing out and water until it comes clear, brush it out, 
Then you can put it on a machine, spin a lot of the water out, uh, and then set it on a rack to dry. You don't wanna put these in the dryer because what happens is the foam here will start breaking away and it gets inside the microfiber. At that point, you're just risking the possibility of causing any marring that you don't want on the surface. Now, these come in a couple of different sizes. This is by far the most popular. It's the five, I believe it's a quarter inch, fits all your basic five inch pads. It comes in a larger size for people that wanna use, say the, the large backing plate on a Roops LHR 21, uh, or comes in the smaller sizes. Now these used to be available for Meguiar's in a three inch. Unfortunately, they stopped making them. What we have done here at Esoteric, we went out and we had a die designed specifically to cut out, perfectly cut out, three inch versions. And when we did ours, we made it a little bit smaller than what they used to be made. Now, as you can see, it lines up perfectly with your basic three inch backing plate uh, instead of having a lot of overlap to it. So we've got these available, they are made in house. Um, I really couldn't imagine running a detail shop without having technology like this. If you're using foam pads to do your compounding work on a multiple step process, you're completely missing out. You're not getting the kind of cut or the finish that you can get with a microfiber uh, pad from, uh, from Meguiar's. Absolutely fantastic products. I can't recommend them high enough. Like I said, this is the only thing we use in our shop. And it's the only thing we use to teach our students to come into the Elite Detailer Academy. If you want more information on Elite Detailer Academy, you can look on esotericcarcare.com or esotericdetail.com. There's a lot of information and we typically have uh, classes monthly there. Now, don't just take my word for it. Go to the website, look at the product page here, read what other uh, people have left behind for reviews. And if you've got some tips or feedback that you wanna leave, we definitely appreciate when you take the time, go on there and leave a uh, some reviews. Well, that's all we have uh, for today on the Meguiar's microfiber cutting disc. I definitely appreciate uh, your time. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have plenty more videos regularly coming out on detailing products, tools, and techniques. So for the Meguiar's microfiber cutting disc and esotericcarcare.com, I'm Todd Cooperider. Thank you and we'll see you again next time.